Hi, my name is Fayez Qureshi. I'm from Toronto, Ontario in Canada, and I'm here as a chaperone in Costa Rica. You know, it's, it's amazing because I'll tell you that uh, we learned about med life from our kids uh, as opposed to us discovering it. Uh, they came home one day after having a discussion with some of their colleagues and friends in school, learning about the mission and values of MedLife. And when they talked to us about it, uh, they were quite inspired and you can see it in their face. They were very energized, enthusiastic about giving back to a, uh, an underprivileged community and hearing their enthusiasm in their voice immediately sparked our interest. We started doing a bit more research, uh, looked online, had a conversation with Marsa and learned more about uh, MedLife's mission, values, and infrastructure, and soon became very comfortable with its track record uh, and the types of activities that it provided for uh, many communities and educational opportunities for many students uh, around the world. Uh, we started off by giving uh, the students a bit of an, an understanding of what the local community needs were and are, uh, and walking through kind of in their shoes is really important to set the context and set the stage. It was a, referred to as a reality tour. And so speaking to a community leader, seeing the environment, understanding the social contents, context, understanding the different determinants of health, really all placed into uh, important context why we were here and what we were trying to deliver for the community. So that set the stage. Uh, then day one of the mobile clinic, really interesting to have the kids figure out the logistics, work as a team, start to understand the different complexities in delivering care to a challenged community was, it was amazing. The first day, uh, a lot of uncertainty, but a lot of energy, enthusiasm, and interest. Uh, people brought, came together, brought the material, set up the clinic. And, you know, I must say, I was not expecting to see one, that type of galvanized team spirit, and two, the incredible need and demand of the community. There were so many people that were waiting in queue uh, for delivery of care. And it became very evident after the first hour that you know, this was a worthwhile endeavor that was really making a difference in the lives of so many people. You know, it's been, a, it's been an amazing opportunity to uh, get to know a lot of the students uh, from our school and get to know them in a very different way. So we often see them in social contexts, but seeing them in a circumstance where they're both learning, they're playing, and they're providing service, really you get to know these students in a very uh, different fashion. Uh, spending time in particular with my kids has been very special. You know, watching them work hard, uh, have realizations at different points uh, along the entire journey, understanding the needs and demands of different communities, and really reflecting on how fortunate and privileged we are. And then being able to use their energy, use their hands to give back to the community has been a really special opportunity. Uh, the small side conversations, the knowing looks, the hugs and the smiles, uh, that's been really uh, memorable for me. And as I was reflecting on the opportunity to come, I was thinking to myself, when would I ever get a chance to do this again with my kids? You know, sure, we have the opportunity to go on vacation, but this is not about vacation. This is about learning, giving back, and providing service. And this experience uh, really enabled us to do that, not just independently, but together.